The ability to use sketched geometry to define the shape of turning toolpaths allows CAM programmers to have even greater control over how parts are machined. The latest release of Autodesk Parmill extends this capability with the introduction of a new pattern turning strategy. Let's start by looking at a bore roughing toolpath for this example part. We can see that the initial toolpath follows the profile of the part and includes movements where the turning tool will engage into internal corners. This could increase the load on the insert and result in poor cutting conditions. To improve this, we will convert the initial toolpath into a pattern. Next, we can use Parmel's curve editing tools to modify the pattern by creating arcs into the corners. Once the arcs have been added, we can use another of Parmel's pattern editing tools to extend the trimmed segments. Now that the pattern is complete, we can create a pattern turning toolpath. Select the pattern to machine and define other toolpath settings such as tolerance and tool axis. Once you're happy, you can calculate your toolpath. Note that the turning toolpath follows the pattern exactly. Let's now look at a more complex example of pattern turning in action. Here, we wish to create a trochoidal turning program. We start by creating a milling toolpath that consists of a single set slice positioned to match the outer form of the model being machined. The milling tool used has the same size as the turning insert we will be using later. Next, we can convert the toolpath into a pattern. Once done, we create a pattern turning toolpath and select the previously defined pattern. After calculation, we can simulate to visualize the ordering of the trochoidal turning toolpath segments. The addition of a new pattern turning strategy gives Parmel users greater flexibility when driving mill turn machines, helping CAM programmers to produce the efficient toolpaths they need to cut their complex parts.